Hello everyone, I'm Emily Powers and in this video I'm going to show how to paint a butterfly and I'm going to show step by step how I do it so you can paint with me if you like and all the supplies I'm using I have in the description and there's also links in the description where you can purchase some of those supplies and a percentage of your purchase helps support my channel. And I also have a link to the brush guys where you can get brushes and you can get 5% off if you use the code EMILYART. So if you use EMILYART, you use that code and you can get 5% off. And I thought real quick I would show um, the schedules again. So last month these are the um, things we painted. So. If you want to see those, uh, you can go to my channel, Emily Powers Art, right below the video. If you tap Emily Powers Art, it'll bring you to my channel and you can watch those. And then this is the new schedule, so we're on this one. So every Friday I do a new video, so I'm going to be doing those soon. So I'm going to go ahead and start. So. This is my number 12 bright, it's Princeton Summit, is the uh, brand, so I mean you don't have to have the same brush, but that's just the one I have. So I'm going to get cadmium yellow medium and titanium white, and this is uh, a 9x12 canvas like I normally use. I just, you know, did it vertical instead of horizontal this time. And I'm going to get a little bit of phalo blue. And a little bit of ultramarine blue. And I get some burnt umber to neutralize it a little. I'm going to need more of it, so I'm just kind of mixing some more. So I got more of the ultramarine blue, it kind of changed the color a little. Just want to try to get it color I want before I start putting it down. So I'm pretty much just going to go over and kind of, I'm going to go vertical and just coat the whole background with this like green color. You can get some water. And in some areas I can kind of take some white and streak some of that in and kind of make it more white in certain spots. Just kind of, it doesn't have to be all solid. You can do it all solid, but you can kind of streak some other colors and stuff and just kind of change it a little. Ended up kind of making a more neutral color over there. Okay. 
and just kind of you can just keep picking up water help it go on better I'm just kind of just changing it slightly as I go across to make it have a little bit of different colors. So if you enjoy the video, please give it a like and subscribe. And I already kind of said this, but I do a new video every Friday. So if you like painting, then I do a new acrylic painting tutorial every Friday. So, all right, so that was pretty quick, really easy. So, uh, I need this to dry and then I can put in like the grass he's sitting on and I can draw him in. So I'm rinsing my brush out really good. And just put that off to the side. Alright, so I'm going to dry it and come back. Alright, so now I'm going to, now that this is dry, I'm going to get my 3 8 inch angle shader and it's Princeton Velvet Touch, but any brush that you like will work that'll fit into these areas. And um, I want to draw out where I want like my grass and my moth before I actually put it in. So I think I'm going to put the grass, have it end kind of at the third in that area. And then down here, I'm going to have it just kind of come off the corner. So it's going to come this way some, and then it'll come that way. Alright, and then there's kind of down here, there's some grass that kind of comes off back here in the back. And then the moth is going to be pretty big um, on this canvas, so uh, I'm going to say I'm going to go and do the fourth this way and the edge of his wing I'm going to put kind of on that fourth area somewhere over there and and then the head is going to be just below half maybe like if I do fourths this way be kind of like in the middle somewhere and then the edge of the wing the top if I do half and half again I'm going to bring it a little higher than that all right so it's going to kind of let's see it the stalk is not quite as tilted as that it's a little bit more straight, so I'm going to do it more straight like that. It's going to be kind of thick, so the thickness might kind of make up for, it might kind of go over some, so. Alright, so it's just going to kind of go along the edge of the stalk, and then it's going to come off and I'm going to go around Let's see All 
Maybe it out some more. So So I'm just going to kind of do this. It looks kind of like an upside down egg. Uh so do like a egg kind of shape, kind of like a squished oval. And then he has another wing that's coming out this way. Let's see, pull that wing out. So his other wing is going to be behind that, and I'm just going to kind of do it like that. And it doesn't have to look exactly like the picture, or exactly like mine. Just kind of, as long as it looks kind of like the shape of a butterfly, it's, it's good. Alright, and then... Let's see, I'm trying to figure out where I had that mark for the head. Alright, so I'm going to bring it out here. Those wings going to kind of come in there. And then he's going to have a little head. Right in here. And he's going to have these come out like that. And then he's going to have some legs that kind of wrap around, but I'm not going to draw that because it'll wipe off when I do this. Uh, when I do the grass. <laughs> it's like I can't think of the word. All right. So that's kind of, you kind of have the basic drawing. All right. All right, so I'm going to take my 3 8 inch angle shader and dip it in the water. And I think first I'll do like the background stuff that's coming off back there. So I'm just going to do, see that's all dry. There is some of the color from the background kind of right in here. So I'm going to get that color and it's got a lot of white and I'm just going to kind of put some little shapes like grass And I'm gonna, I'm okay if it kind of is fuzzy on the edges because it's in the background, so it's, it's good to be fuzzy. And I'm kind of getting the fuzziness by, I don't have a whole lot of water on the brush, I think, is what's kind of giving that 
to me so it's kind of like breaking up the paint like it's not flowing smoothly you can it's kind of like grabbing on the texture and making it kind of blurry all right and then I'm going to get my yellow and some ultramarine blue and some white Alright, so the stem that he's sitting on is going to be darker than the background. So, we've got more of the light blue in it. And it's kind of, may not go as far possibly as it might normally would because I'm kind of picking up that chalk too as I go down so it's getting chalk on my brush. So you might, as you're like picking up the chalk, you might kind of not seem like it's going as far, but once that chalk comes off, then it should be like it was before, so. Right, and I'm just going to kind of curve the end and then make this bottom part it's kind of actually skinnier than at this point and then it kind of gets let's see I'm running out of yellow oops I got some paint there okay So I'm going to get some yellow and some white and right here I'm going to kind of put I'm going to kind of make it have some yellow color there. Again, I put some white along the edge and kind of flicking some stripes. Get some like yellow. Some white and yellow. Make some like stripes in the grass. It's kind of got these like lines. Alright, and then 
there I'm gonna get some of the burnt umber and put it right on the edge there because there's like some brown and kind of mix it with the lighter color just a little bit and put just a little bit right there in the back in some spots All right, so uh, it's pretty easy so far. It's, you know, the background and the grass is super easy. Um, the butterfly is obviously going to be harder than that, but I don't think it's going to be super hard, hopefully. I don't know. I have a feeling it's going to be easier, uh, easier than the brown butterfly that, I did because that, that had a lot of lines in it but okay so I'm gonna get my white and I'm just gonna kind of start putting in the butterfly so fill them in and I'm going kind of in this direction like where the it's kind of sort of where the lines would be the direction that the pattern on the wing would be And right here, I'm not going to do like solid because there's some, there's some that's kind of flicked out, like some fuzzy uh, white areas. So I don't want to put that in solid and make it harder to get that. I don't want it to have a line when I'm trying to make it look fuzzy and flick it out so you probably don't really understand what I'm saying I'm not really explaining very well you'll be able to see what I mean when I get there So at the moment we're just kind of covering over the green of the background, just kind of figuring out where it's going to go and actually putting the paint over it. And I'm doing white, it's got a lot of white in the butterfly, but the white also will cover over the green pretty well, so. All right, and then I'm gonna get a little bit of phthalo blue with the white, and it's still got a lot of the white, so it's not really a whole lot of blue at all. But I'm going to just kind of use that and put it where the more blue areas are. So you at least kind of get the idea of where it's going to be. And then the body is kind of fuzzy too, kind of like up there. But so I'm just going to kind of flick out for the moment. I don't want to 
do do a hard line and the head's gonna kind of be in here but I don't want to do too much detail I'm just kind of stick it in all right so we got the uh, we got it kind of in you know where we want it And we can also kind of change, change it a little if we need to. So like right in here, it needs to kind of come out some. I'm going to do it too far because we need to do the fuzzy. It's right there, but. All right, it's, it's probably good. to get my rag and get some water on it you don't want it like dripping but I'm just gonna when it's dry go over and take the chalk off and it may pick up a little bit of color since we did just put it down not too long ago but you don't want it like fresh. You don't want to put it down and then wipe over. It might, you know, get a little bit of color off since it is kind of new, but. And if you do end up ever wiping anything off, you can always go back and cover it up. All right. So there's still some chalk on there, but most of it's gone. All right, so I think it's good enough I can go on to the next part. So actually, I think I'm gonna get my uh, quarter inch filbert granier and it's Princeton Select. And you don't have to have this to be able to get something similar. You could use the brush I was just using and just kind of flick some. It will look different with this though. That, that to me it's harder to get this. You can't really get the same effect with that brush, but you can get, get it similar by flicking. But I want to do this one and get, get it with kind of look that this one will give me. All right, so I'm getting white and I'm watering it down a lot. And I can just kind of go on my palette and kind of do like a test, just see what it does. All right, and then I'm going to go here where I want. Here, let me zoom in. So I'm going to just flick it out. So we couldn't get this same effect with that other brush. But if that's all you have, you can 
pluck it some and then just move on. All right, and then I'll go down here and flick some white on the belly. And kind of right here is going to come down because there's going to be like a leg, some legs coming out there. And now I'm going to get some phthalo blue with it, make kind of like the light color up there we had, and flick some of that in. Alright, so I just kind of paused it there so I could get everything back in the right spot. So, um, just gonna do my white with this fabric granier one more time. So it's kind of got a weird, like, hard line where I, st st uh, not really a hard line, but like, you know, where I st uh, started my brush stroke. But we're going to go back later and go over that. So um, I'm going to get my angle brush again, and I'm going to get the white and be sure to get water and I'm going to start on too much water <laughs> be see through all right so I want to start with this back wing so I'm I want it to kind of have these like, it's not going to be just a straight curve, it's going to have these like humps in there. So see I just kind of put in some humps back on the edge of that wing. And then I'm going to get some burnt umber and a little bit of my Mars black and just a little bit to the white. I don't want it super dark. And I'm going to put some it's a little too brown so I'm going to get more of the black make it more of a gray And I 
I can get my white and just put some of that in there. More of the light black. Make it gray and all right. So, got the back wing. All right, and now I'm going to get my white and just kind of do some more on this wing and cover over my first layer. getting that like kind of gray mixture with a little bit of the brown and oh, it's maybe a little too dark and I'm just gonna kind of put it in the direction that the pattern on the wings going it in, kind of blend it as I go. I want it a little darker down in here. some black and just kind of put in some dark in there because there's some like dark hairs in here so I'm going to kind of give some dark in there And right, let's see. All right, I'm going to get the black and kind of tap it and try just tapping in here. Tapping, making little like dots. Trying to make some darker spots in the wing. Probably gonna have to just do it a little different. This isn't really doing what I want. Can, I can always cover over anything I don't want. And I'm going to cover over it with blue, so. Alright. 
So I'm just tapping. And then... Mm, I want to get more of the white and put it on the edge and cover over the green again. Right, and then I'm going to get my number one round, and it's Princeton Velvet Touch. It's the same kind of brush as the angle brush. And I'm going to get the brown and the black it with some water. And I need some more white. Alright, get my white. Alright. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to do a line on the edge. So it's it's easy but the hardest part is this the lines. So I would say if you're like just starting painting, you might not wanna do this cuz it it'll be kind of hard to get the lines small enough. But I mean, you can try it if you want. But I just know it can be hard to get, especially if you don't have the right kind of brush that can get it small, it can be really hard to get it like that. So, all right, and I'm gonna get some white and just kind of go along the edges and kind of go over it so it doesn't look so, I don't know, it just kind of, I think it kind of pushes it in the painting. Kind of doesn't make it look like it's poking out. You want it to actually look like it's on, on it and not like sitting above it. All right. And then I'll get some of that and just make it a little lighter. No, oh, maybe a lot lighter, actually. All right, and I'm gonna kind of, it's darker than the white we have back here, but it's lighter than that color we were doing the lines with. I'm gonna go along here and just kind of scribble some of this darker in. Some down there, and I'm going to get the darker. And I'm going to kind of blend it into that 
lighter color we had. Okay, and now I'm going to get the dark for the lines and do kind of tap in some in here. Like kind of in the middle of the color we put down before. All right. Get a little bit of that darker and go put some on the edge. All right, and I'm going to get my angle brush and take that color, not the darkest color, but the kind of middle color, and kind of put some of it where I think the lines would be. In here. All right. I don't really like you, uh, the way that brush is doing it, so I'm gonna go back. You know what? Uh, let me take my Philbrook Grainier again and do. The white again. And go on the edge. And I'm going to go all the way across this time. So I'm just going to kind of make the edge fuzzy. Just going to kind of get some thicker white right there to cover over that line, that dark line. too. All right. And actually I need to go out. All right. Rinse that out. So I'm going to get my number one round and get this darker color and
I'm just going to kind of put a little mark there as that's where I want it to come down. Later when I do that. One, two, three, four. All right, so I'm going to do one more. And I'm kind of curving them slightly. And then kind of go down a little and then back up. All right, so I kind of go down just barely up, kind of in and out. All right, and I'm going to get some of my Mars Black and make it darker in certain spots. Okay. All right, and then I'm going to get the white, some of the brown used for the lines, and bring it down. Get some white too, in case I go too far like I did here. And that's not supposed to be there, so. And if it's not like smooth, it's alright, you can have some texture. It's probably not the easiest the little details and butterflies kind of make it a little harder I think So, all right, so I'm going to get the darker color. It's kind of got a lot of white in it now, so I'll just use it over here. So I'm going to get some up in there.
And I kind of sort of already got it kind of on, kind of got some darker and some lighter in here already, so. go kind of on the sides of these and then I'm going to get the darker and So I'm just kind of, I don't want it to look like solid white and then some stripes. I want it to kind of just all blend. I have some dark kind of right before each line. And I just kind of, and you can put some white down or some of the lighter color you got down. And then you can take some darker and kind of blend it in and have have some darker in there. Okay, now I want to get my 3 8 inch angle, get some white, try to kind of get the same color I've got down right in here, and then get some white and some phthalo blue. If you get some blue up here, it's it's fine. All right. And stuck my finger in the paint. Get some of the blue in in here. So, let's see, I'm going to get my rag and wipe off some more of this chalk. So, get wet a little bit. Just kind of dab off the chalk. So, I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to get my number one round and get the white and phthalo blue. And I'm going to do dots do little dots 
and kind of separate these dark spots in here. I got too much black, so I'm just doing dots and covering up so that it'll have some more like spots instead of lines. Alright, I'm going to take the black and do some spots try to cover up the pattern that I had before and get some white with it so it's not so dark up here Right, and then get the blue. to go out further. This is a lot better than I did before with the angle brush. off that dark color and Just kind of tap a little bit of blue up higher.
my black and do some spots higher up. Kind of a line of them here. Some dots. So the we kind of are starting to get enough dots. It's starting to look better. Need to kind of make those black ones we just put not so dark. Kind of go around them and on top of them with the blue. some like little lines get the white Add it. All right, and I'm going to get my white with my brown and my black. Make like a light gray. And be sure to get some water with it. To be lighter. kind of going in between the wings and I'm getting some white and I'm going to try to go over make some of them not so dark
so I think it's pretty good. All right. And I'm going to get my white and go along this behind the line here and do some get I would need to get it to be lighter. to get keep sticking my hand in the paint all right I'm gonna get the white and water it down and I got the filbert grain here so oops too far get some of the light blue take it and go take that blue and go out and kind of go over that dark line a little too. Alright. Alright, so now I'm going to do more of the details. So I'm going to keep my number one round again. And get some white and like I'm going to put some white spots so right in here to get a white spot down in here so we're, I'm going to do it kind of like what I did up here one's not really a circle, it's kind of more of a oval. And then uh, I'm going to take it and kind of go up, kind of like it would be going along up to this one. Just kind of give a little bit of white right in here. I don't want it to be like a spot. I just kind of want to brush a little white in there and here. Let's see, you need another actual spot right in here. 
and then brush some and all these spot really should have been more higher like up there higher up so I'm gonna get some gray and kind of put that back alright little spot here and get some of the black, Mars black, and first I'm going to go and do a little, just kind of lightly do some in here, in each pocket. And do it lightly so you can kind of just gently put it in. You don't kind of sort of like how we did the grass. You don't want it like have a lot of water in it and just kind of drag it across and let it let the texture of the canvas pick it up. And this one's gonna have two. I'm going to have one, two, and there's going to be a little bit kind of on the edge there. And just a little bitty, tiny bit right in here. Alright, and then I'm going to get some, put it in inside each one of these white spots This one's going to kind of have a two, and then I'm going to have some right there. All right. All right. Rinse that off. Then we're getting the details in them. It's starting to look good. You still have to do like the head and body and stuff, but we're getting close. All right. So I'm going to get some cadmium red, medium, and cadmium yellow. Mix those together and get a little bit of white. Make an orange. And I'm going to do a kind of curved like that. So I'm going to start by just kind of doing a dot down and then curve and then 
and not all of them will start at the black. Some will start a little further down. Then once we got that in, I'm going to get the black and there's going to be some under each one. So. doing it we don't have like a whole lot of water oh we missed that one get that one that we didn't get the spots, the detail on the wing looks cool. Alright. And now I'm going to get some white and I'll go and do the feet. So Kind of right. Hmm. Right in here. And do one. See, so I do it more like down, like that. Erase that other leg. Wipe it off. Get some gray. Do the other one. It's not the right color, but I just wanted to do that one darker. And then this one out. And then this other one. I'm going to do it. <coughs> over here and it's going to wrap around the grass. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to get some white Some water, my filbert green here. All right, I'm gonna get some. Blue. 
Okay. And we're gonna go over the leg. some of the black Put some water with it and do some All right now I'm going to get the white and try to flick Put in some some lighter color in there. All right, so to come kind of down this way out that way and kind of up some up here. And now I'm going to take that white and do the head. So come down and up. And I'll get that black again. Alright, and I'm going to get black and do eye. So I just kind of, I took some white um, and flicked with the filbert grain here, and then I took some, like more of the black, which kind of turned gray because of the lighter color of my brush. So I'm taking this number one round in my black and... I'm going to do kind of like a line and then have it come out. And then kind of have like a spot right there. And just kind of some dark right here. Get some white and go around the eye, and I'll get some of the blue too, and Some up there. All right. Put 
put some more white out. And some of that phthalo blue. I'm getting the blue going along the face and I'm going to get some more like the black and get the blue again and Far, I think the face has been the hardest for me. All right, I'm gonna get the black. Come around. I'm gonna make the eye bigger. Okay, and then do that dot. All right. Black. get that white again. Gotta go around the eye. And we get thin once you get to this area. And then I'm getting the black, adjusting the eye. All right, I need to stop for the moment because it's, I just need it to be dry. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do the leg again. So I'm gonna get that white. I need the white and I'll do this one first. Get some black and do some on one side. And, and do it across there, there, and then do a few down there. And kind of the fur right before that is kind of dark. And right. You might just get a little bit of blue on the leg. And white, I'm trying to like let you know what 
color I'm getting since you can't see what I'm grabbing over here. Alright, and then this side, we're going to get it, get some black. Then I want some light blue on this other side. And more like the white. like where that where it bends I'm gonna have it black and then And if I get it too big, I can take my water and rinse my brush off. And then with my damp brush, I can lift off color. It's, uh, you don't want to like dripping, but just damp enough it can wipe off. And then get some more white for this one. See, that's dripping. I don't want it like that. All right. And then get some black. And see, it's got. You do one, two, three, four. Some stripes. Some dark there. Some dark. Where it starts, and then I'm just kind of scrub some into the body there, and then one, two, three, four, and dark there. done. Alright, so let me see what I'm going to do next. Um, I think I need to get some white and some phthalo blue and do just a little bit on the eye okay Do a little bit more white on this leg back here. All right, so I'm going to get my filbert granier, get some black.
and water it down like I've been doing and then put some dark and then get the white and phthalo blue I'm just flicking where I want some light blue hairs to come. Okay, and I'm getting the black again. Need some black on the head there. And some black here on the nose. So the body and the head's I, probably the hardest part, at least for me. The wing wasn't even as hard as this, I don't think. So, I mean, I guess for some other people, the wing might be harder than this part, but cause everybody has what they can do good and they're not as good at. But for me, it's, this part is harder. So, all right, but I think I got it good enough. I don't want to really do too much more on it. So I just um, kind of here I flick down. Um, maybe I might not always do that but I should. <laughs> uh, I'll flick down and then over here flick that way and here it's kind of still that way and then kind of up here I flicked up. So it's, it's kind of all over the place it, if you flick in the wrong direction. Uh, you know, if you flick down right here when it should go across, it may not really. It might just look like the wind is blowing and it's moving it down. I don't know. So don't worry if it's not perfect on there. All right, and then I get my number one round. I need to do... There's like a, a little it's a dark line right there. And then do some light spots. Right there. and dark and right there too okay and then get some white and do some on each side And 
do a little bit of white kind of right there. Alright, so we need to do uh, these lines off of his head, so I'm going to do black and start them right here. I do a, I did a little black mark on the eye and then I'm gonna put these lines I'm gonna be really careful about this part though because if you mess up here, and you don't save it in time, you know, if you let it dry, then you're gonna have to go back and do that green. So that might would be kinda hard to do. So right and then right here I'm gonna do some thicker black at the end. And then you're going to come back up here and it kind of comes off. I'm going to make it come off right in here. And I still made it come off a little early so I can try to Take off, see there we go. I'm taking off the black and I went too far. So I just had my brush had a little bit of moisture on it and I could take off what I didn't want. Alright, then do it thicker here. the tip and now I'm going to get some white and do these little stripes And they're going to get further apart as I go. And then they're going to have like be a little closer toward the end, looks like. And then. Get a little little dot here. All right, so that's pretty good. This is probably a harder, harder painting. It wasn't as easy as I thought. So I'm going to take my Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen and sign it. And I would like to try to take off a little bit more of that chalk don't don't touch what you just did all right so there's our butterfly 
so I hope you enjoyed this video um, the paintings are doing uh, the next few weeks are here so next week we're gonna do it's kind of, it kind of printed funny um, so it's got these like pink lines in it but it's some mountains and like a lake in front some trees and then those two are going to be in the next few weeks and then uh, that was the schedule for last month so if you want to see those videos you can go to my channel Emily Powers Art right below the video it should say Emily Powers Art and if you click that it should take you to my channel so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye.